when you turn it on and you like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> something that was wrong particularly with the music it was more like we've always kind of said to each other when we're writing that the best cubic color can be is just when it feels really honest you know that and i think particularly electronic music where it's so easy to dress things up in a hundred different ways it's actually hard to find a quality of honesty sometimes in electronic music where it is just musicians expressing themselves Suddenly we were left with a record that has kind of started one way and then changed direction and was just felt slightly incomplete and it, it felt like a band who hadn't quite found what it was, what yeah. direction they wanted to be, yeah, so. to be going in. It was definitely in moments where it was scary, I was like, I don't think we're ever going to find, well like we can make an album, but whether we'll find a way for us all to be really happy with it, like Peter was ill, like we had lots of stuff happening in our lives that was hard to deal with and like, yeah, there was, a, there was a, some moments where I was like, I'm not sure what we'll end up with, whether we'll have the thing we really think we can all make this, you know. So yeah, what do you think? I completely agree with you in that um, it's obviously like it was a different time. We just actually really started to know each other and we already had Brain Sugar was a great album. So the pressure was a little bit on, but I think the moment we let the pressure a little bit off, yeah, it was like dropping it gave yeah. us like, it was a relief, you could breathe a bit. But it hit me much later, like like a year later, I was like, fuck man, we like, dropped a whole record, like that is a crazy thing to do. And also everyone in the industry would tell you that as well, I suppose, like, attention spans are short, you can't spend like, three years <laughs> on a second album. I think it's probably not lost, like we'll do something with it or, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it exists, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see where it goes. It was just a really response to the things we'd been through, these great cycles of writing we'd done that we had to start again. And yeah, it was all those kind of things played a part. The moment we said like, okay, we dropped it, we're gonna make a new album, don't look back, we're just gonna make what we're good at. And it's just a fresh breath of air and, and yeah, we did it. Yeah, and we properly shut ourselves away and like just sat in the boat and um, yeah, didn't play anyone anything and just kind of made sure we were all really happy with it. I'd never really think of telling people what I think it is. Because I think as soon as you've made it, it's not yours anymore, you know, no. like when it comes out. So I don't want to put that on, on stuff. But it was going back to that kind of honesty thing. It was just really how we were feeling at that time. Hardly a day, hardly a night, the title track was quite near the end of the session. We'd, we'd got most of the records, we thought, and then Peter was just whizzing through some little jams and sketches oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd made, and he just had this chord, um, this kind of circular chord sequence, and then, yeah, started singing on it right away, and that was like all three of us, a couple of hours, like that one was done, and we didn't really touch it much after that. It was just very um, complete, and they're, they're kind of gifts, I think, to you when you're writing, like, not all tunes come out like that, and there were other tunes on the record which took much longer for us to be happy with. I just had images of like planets and stuff, which I suppose I thought had been done before, but I just felt there was some way we could do it that really spoke to the album and the themes of the record. And these senses of like big things happening and kind of being a part of a big cycle, but also just dealing with your own shit and like having that kind of macro and micro sense of stuff. And I thought we could find a way to kind of visualize that somewhere with, with the planets. So yeah, just did loads of um, looking at NASA images. Putting them in a slightly abstract way, so you can't really tell what it is or what it could be. It's kind of impressionistic. It's hardly a day, hardly a night. Yeah, and it, but it's also crazy, <laughs> crazy literal. <laughs> so yeah, and then my great friend Brooks uh, and, and his mate Cali at Wide Eyed 
studios just gave them that and they just ran with it and just did the Points Beyond video and did all the rest of the visual stuff. When you turn it on and you like it. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> I'm a real like a lover of kind of storytelling and stuff. So I want a record to have like a beginning, a middle and an end. I just love to create landscapes. You travel through the landscape over the over the songs that you're making. Or a friend told me like, oh I love listening to the album because the moment Wake Me Up comes in the album, it really makes everything fitting in the rest of the album and yeah I love to hear something like that. For me, an album is really about just, a, just laying a marker down and just being like, this is where we're at right now. And I think we wanted to commit to it that hard in the sense that there's so much, I think, there's so much music and content and everything coming out these days that it's harder as an artist, I think, to, to make sure you take that time to make it perfect and to like, invest in this work as much as you can on it and to make something with such care like every inch of that record has been like poured over by us you know and it's just worked our ass off just to make sure it's just the best it could possibly be